Hello everyone and welcome to another video of All Around Data. Today we are going to get data from an API and import it into a SQL database. So let's jump into it. We here create a job, call it staging from API. And the first things we do is make a pre-job that will make a connection to the access uh, to the SQL database. Um, I made a connection to my local host SQL server. I did that in a previous video. So if you did set up that yet, you can have a look at that one. I also have a context for the database, so I can use that quite easily. So I just put in the correct context variables right here. I will use schema that's called staging. And here I have the password of the SQL user that's used. Okay. I put auto commit on so it writes the data into the database. And that's that. So the pre job is done. Um, now let's have a look at the API that we're going to uh, import the data from. And I took an open API from SPN. It's uh, this call, we get all the NBA teams and a lot of data about the NBA teams. Um, for example, here we have the Charlotte Hornets with all the yeah, relevant information. Also, where else to the different logos, etc. etc. So um, I can copy this link. We will use the T REST client component. Um, I put the URL right here. I say JSON, and here I will put this on off so it doesn't convert a response to a DOM document. Um, so we can simply put a T log row after it to see if it's outputting something. I will put here a limit of five so. The response is more readable. So that's that. Just have a wait if everything works fine. I may see that the output is, let me wrap it. Yeah, that it is the same as we had in the postman. Um, you can see here all the IDs, all the different NBA teams and all the different attributes. So now the question is, how can we parse this JSON to get it into a relational format that's needed for the SQL database? So we will use this component, the T extract JSON field, um, in which we can yeah, parse the JSON according to our needs. Um, I find it helpful to, let me just copy this. I find it helpful to have an online tool, have a look at how we can uh, access the data that we need. For example, we want um, the ID, the abbreviation, the display name, and let's say uh, the first logo URL. Uh, we can test here how we can um, iterate over this array and get the data for each team. So in talent, we here have the part that we can specify in which the extract JSON field has to iterate. So we need to find that path and the path is for us, this array, because in this teams array, all the different teams and their attributes that we want to extract are present. So we can test it right here from sports. We want to take the first object, same for leaks. And teams is the array that we want to iterate over. So you see here the output and indeed we have here all the teams that we need together with their attributes. So we can copy this one, 
this right here like that um, and then you see the mapping so the mapping is actually the attributes that you need from this array that you are iterating over so again we can do here some testing we can copy this it right here so you can have a look at how this works for one team let's take just the first one um, and we see here for the Atlanta Hawks it's only those attributes that we get um, and let's say that we want the display name from this record then we can just put here team dot display name you can see here it will retrieve Atlanta Hawks so we have to define that right here so let's just say that we want five attributes per team let's say the ID deviation name display name and let's say the logo URL uh, we also define here the, the lengths and then right here we have to define the query that we just did how it can access that uh, attribute so for example for ID it's like this and then it's yeah basically copy paste for the other ones because um, they were in the same array exactly for this it's abbreviation it was name right here display name logo url was slightly different as we can see here the logos are defined right here um, because it is the url is defined in another array so for this team it should look like logos and we'll see that we got an array but we only want the first one if you only want the first one we can just do it like this uh, logos zero then we get all the information from the first logo but we just want the url so we can do it like this so that is the same as we will put here logos the first one of logos and we take the href which is the url okay let's have a look if this is working just fine Run. so as we can see here it's working as we want to the first one is uh, the id then the abbreviation the name display name and here the url of the first logo so we are almost there um, we now have to use this to put it into our database your component here microsoft sql server and we can use the connection that we have defined right here we connect these two elements and let's say that we want to put it into the table ESPN um, teams we will use the schema that is defined here so it will be stored in the schema of staging um, let's say because the, as we can see here the table does not exist yet just one dummy table we have to create if does not exist what we can also do is right here define a key let's put ok so we can use an update or insert okay let's have a look if everything works okay uh, so we have five rows that we the same output as previous let's refresh 
or SQL, we see that the table is created and then we select the top five, we can see that this is exactly what we wanted. So for one final run, I will remove the limit. So we get the data for all 30 teams. Okay, we can see here the output is for 30 teams. And let's have a look if this is also the case in the database. Yes, it is. So we can see here all the IDs, all the abbreviations, name, display names, and logo URL for every NBA team that there is. So that was shortly how we can extract data from an API and put it into our SQL database. Thank you for watching and have a good day.